Hello once again dear viewers, you're watching Airy TV. Welcome to our news broadcast. Here are the headlines. Two patients diagnosed positive for COVID-19. International Teachers Day observed under the theme Teachers Pioneers for Education Renaissance. Global airline industry sees COVID-related losses. Landslide turns down houses in Yansu, China. Announcement from the Ministry of Health. Two patients have been diagnosed positive for COVID-19 in tests carried out today at quarantine centers in Asmara, Central Region. On the other hand, eight patients who have been receiving medical treatment in hospitals in the Central Region have recovered fully and have been discharged from these facilities. The total number of recovered patients has accordingly risen to 6,663, while the number of deaths stands at 42. The total number of confirmed cases in the country to date has increased to 6,725. Ministry of Health, Asmara, 5 October 2021. In a message conveyed in connection with 5 October International Teachers' Day, Mr. Simon Mahari, chairman of the National Teachers' Association, called on teachers to play a leading role in nurturing noble societal values in the young generation. Mr. Simon went on to say that the International Teachers' Day that is being observed under the team Teachers Pioneers for Education Renaissance is a reminder to work for educational development by addressing challenges and shortcomings. Mr. Simon indicated that the number of members of the National Teachers Association, that was about 6,000 in 1995, has in 2021 increased to over 19,000, and the number of female members from 1,500 to 7,040. Mr. Simon went on to say that the training programs, seminars and workshops that have been organized in cooperation with the Ministry of Education with a view to developing the capacity of teachers are registering encouraging results. He also expressed readiness to work for the realization of the objectives of the Ministry of Education in general and to develop the teaching learning process. International Teachers Day is being observed for the 25th time at the national level and the 27th time at the international level. International Tourism Day 2021 was observed on 3 October under the theme Tourism for Inclusive Growth, addressing the role of tourism service provision in the national development programs. At the meeting, extensive discussion were conducted on priorities that should be exerted to revive tourism activities in general and that of domestic tourism in particular, and the role of tourism service provision institutions. Speaking at the event, Ms. Leah Gabrab, Director General of Tourism Service in the Central Region, said that tourism has been one of the economic sectors that has been severely affected by the COVID-19 pandemic worldwide. She called for reinforced efforts to revive the sector. Those are the best news. Please stay tuned for the international right after the short break. The global airline industry sees 201 billion US dollars in COVID related losses, according to the International Air Transport Association as travel curbs weighs on corporate and long-haul demand well into 2022. Carriers are poised to post a collective deficit of 11.6 billion US dollars next year, the International Air Transport Association said today in Boston at its annual meeting. The trade body also increased its losses estimate for this year and revised upward the shortfall for 2020. The combined 201 billion US dollars in net losses over the pandemic blighted period eclipses close to nine years of industry earnings based on IATA figures. While domestic and regional travels have begun to rebound, there has been little recovery in the globe-spanning business routes, so crucial to many carriers. Rain triggered landslide turned down houses, cut roads at multiple places in northwest China's Gansu province that was battered by downpour. 
in uh, Nangjiangzi village of uh, Lingtai County. Houses of local villagers were pushed over by landslide last night, including seven buildings, which has affected 172 households of 470 people. Local authorities implemented emergency response and transferred and relocated the affected villagers immediately. Fortunately, no casualties have been reported so far in Hanzi village of Shengyang city. A mountain road was severed by landslide, trapping a vehicle with four passengers on board. Firefighters rushed to the scene and carried out relief work after receiving the report call. Global warming helped wipe out 14% of the world's coral reefs between 2009 and 2018. The largest ever survey of coral health has found warning that more of the vibrant underwater ecosystems were likely to die if oceans warm further. Climate change combined with overfishing, coastal development and declining water quality destroyed ecosystems home to at least a quarter of all marine animals and plants. Corals in South Asia and the Pacific, around the Arabian Peninsula and off the coast of Australia were the hardest hit, according to the report which was released today, compiled by more than 300 scientists in the Global Coral Reef Monitoring Network. The report spanned data for 40 years, 73 countries and 12,000 sites, and found the total area destroyed equal to about 11,700 square kilometers. Coral reefs cover only 0.2% of the ocean floor, but they are home to at least a quarter of all marine animals and plants. Before we close for tonight's news, let's have a recap of the headlines tonight. Two patients diagnosed positive for COVID-19. International Teachers' Day observed under the theme Teachers Pioneers for Education Renaissance. Global airline industry sees COVID-related losses. Landslide turns down houses in Gansu, China. And that was our news. It is good night from us.